Growing up I had a dream, something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees And you can't breathe, everything you see reminds you of what you're not Or something you won't be You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it what is going on everybody? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Let's go ahead and get the truck turned on. It makes a little bit of a weird noise when the remote starts. At the end of it, it like cranks a little longer. I think my starter might be going bad. But anyways, so today we're gonna be heading out to Semi, Semi Valley again to pick up, not the Recaros, we're gonna end up picking up the regular seats for the car. So sadly, after going back and forth with it for a while, I decided I'm just gonna get the regular seats because we're gonna be expanding the business and changing a lot of things with Vulcan. So uh, as a matter of fact, we changed the name. It's no longer Vulcan Detail and it's Vulcan Auto Care. I think I mentioned that last video. But uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of changes around here, so I'm excited for that. And I'd rather just have money, um, you know, extra money lying around than uh, to spend it all on some seats. So uh, we're gonna be able to drive her again. We're gonna be probably take her to the drag strip here in a couple of days if everything goes well. But for today, we're gonna be sitting in this thing basically the rest of the day. So let's hop on in, go pick uh, pick my boy up so he can help us drive on the way back, and then we gotta go get some gas. All right, $115 later, we got a full tank and a happy truck. California, seriously, lower your gas prices. I, I'm tired of paying over $100 for damn gas. It was $115. But I mean, yeah, no, there's no, no, it, it's just bad. Lower your prices. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna start to go fund me for my for my gas, uh, my gas bill. All right, cash at me if y'all want to donate to the to the gas donation because uh, I can't afford my gas no more. Uh, all right, so we're about 120 miles into the drive. So far, the truck's been averaging 17.9. So we're beginning to we get some decent gas mileage, around 18 miles per gallon. Uh, we're actually on the car right now for work, <laughs> listening to uh, SEP's uh, sales uh, talk right now. So we're trying to get a little bit of. A little bit of knowledge on sales because if you guys don't know my my main line of work is sales so i'm always trying to learn more like i said in the previous video if you guys need solar hit me up because i got you guys but we're gonna be there around 12 so we're about two and a half hours still away i'm uh, probably gonna stop right now and grab some lunch or grab some breakfast because we still have an still it's still breakfast time so if everything goes well we should be able to get there around 12 maybe like closer to 12 30 because we're gonna stop and eat uh, pick up the seats and then literally leave right away from the uh, semi valley and drive to San Jose See if we can pick up some some wheels for the uh, for the Mopar over there For the, for the charger And we're going to go look at some uh, some Rahana. So they're nice. There's some nice wheels Pretty cheap also pretty good steel Yeah, he, he wants it. What did he say? 1500? 1500. Yeah, so he said they're basically brand new, right? He only had them on the car for a minute For a little short minute I don't like those at Good. Yeah, I've got so he had him. He had him on a scat pick. He said. Yeah, yeah. I got this. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can pick those up. So we're gonna be driving home with my seats back in the truck, and then <laughs> instead of wheels, hopefully, if all goes well, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get him down a little bit. See if we can get him closer to, to about a thousand, maybe thirteen hundred. Okay. Because uh, he did see one of them has a little bit of a curb rash or like a little bit of a nick. Um, so hopefully we can get him to lower the price because of that. But and if not, we'll just fix that that part. You know. Yeah. It's not too major. I mean, 1500 still for those wheels ain't that bad. I think neither are what, 2800? Uh, 2800 brand name. So yeah, so we still, we'll still be able to get a pretty good price on them. So we'll bring you guys along to, for that as well. And hopefully we can get the wheels for the charger. Then we just need to find tires because they're just the, the wheels alone. Yeah, I mean, we got a tire plug anyway. So we can. Uh, yeah, we got this guy in Manteca that got, yeah. that's got, got us with the tire plug. Hopefully I can I can go get some new friends for the Camaro in a couple weeks because the front tires are bald as hell. And then I'm gonna try to get a 17 inch wheel. I'm trying to order some. I don't know what what drag setup I want to go with because I'm gonna order some drag wheels just for whenever I decide to go drag racing. Uh, I'm thinking about either doing. I don't know. I don't really like the race stars. Welds are kind of expensive, so I'll probably go with the VMSs, the knockoff welds. Because I mean I'm just gonna use them for drag racing. I'm not gonna drive on them or anything. Uh, no, so I just see the like VMS is just they look like welds, but they're knockoffs. Yeah. See in person is one of those new uh, electric uh, pickup trucks. The what are they called? The Ravani or whatever? Rivian. Rivian. I I really butchered that name. I I, I butchered that name, but that's cool. 
I would probably, if I had to get an electric car, it would be a Hummer EV or maybe that. Definitely not the Lightning, definitely not a Tesla. All right, little, little rest stop. About another hour and a half-ish to go, hour 40. We'll do a little stop. Might get the drone out in the air. Hopefully it's not too windy. I mean, the wind kind of comes and goes, but it's not too bad. So we're going to see what we can do with the little drone. Maybe get some drone shots in here or something. Um, probably film a video with the Camaro now that I can drive it again with the drone. Maybe we'll make a little uh, little edit or something. It'll be pretty cool. I am really happy with the way this truck drives on road trips. Like, I can probably drive this thing cross country but perfectly fine. I wouldn't even mind. The only thing that's killing me right now is these gas prices. Still can't believe that that gas station was $7 a gallon. It was like $7.29. It was almost $8 a gallon for premium. Regular was like $6.50 or something like that. That's just, it's terrible. All right, so we got we got the stock seats back. Turn right. Then um, turn right on He still the has them listed for sale. Uh, so if anyone is interested in picking up some Recaros and they're in the SoCal area or want to drive to SoCal, he does have them listed on offer up for $2,500 and your stock seats. I guess this guy's uh, BMW is so fast, he had to put one of those little miniature wings on it for downforce. <laughs> All right, so we're hitting the road again. We got another five hour drive to San Jose to go check out the wheels. Hopefully they check out and everything's good and we should be bringing some Rohanas home for the charger. Miles, those things are gonna look to fire. To I-405 North towards Sacramento. I mean, we look like some drugs, we just changed that money around. Right? Yeah, so we, we locked in all the cash in the glove box, but the ATM, they didn't let him choose, they just shot him 20, so he's got a stack like this of 20s. But we're gonna hopefully get a pretty good deal on those wheels and get some tires slapped on in there later on. And they're gonna look, they're gonna look really good. So they're bronze, kind of like mine. But I think Rohana's, I don't know if it's a little darker or a little lighter. I feel like it's a little, you want to see a picture? Yeah, let me see a picture. But they look really good on the on the off-road post, and they're going to look good in this car. I looked up a picture of bronze wheels on a Smoke Show Charger, and, you know, saying it out loud, you wouldn't think, like, it, the colors would, like, you'd think they would clash, but they actually came out, they look pretty good. So this is the, the picture. They look very similar to my stance wheels, but I think the stance wheels actually knocks off the design from these. So these are these are these are nice right here. I mean they're a pretty good deal as is already. And yeah. The the guy probably drops them. But yeah. If he doesn't. I mean I give him what he. I wants. mean I feel like once we're there and he's like like we got the cash like. He doesn't even have the car anymore at this. Yeah, point. Yeah, he doesn't need the wheels and how long have they been um, off road for? Two months already. He's yeah, he sold it like three years, three months ago the car. Yeah, so if he's been having to list it for a while, we might be able to knock him down a little bit. And if I mean the tire size, I could probably take off the tires off my car, but I want to use those as burners. Yeah. Is, they might be a little too stretched because if they're if they're twenty by tens or something. Twenty by tens or twenty by elevens, I say, and they're, they they look way way more wider than. Because your regular. your backs are two fifty fives. Yeah. Two, I mean that. Two forty five. Two forty five. Damn, you got some tiny tires. I know, I got some tinies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they I might know. fit the fronts, the twenty by ten, but they'll definitely be stretched. Yeah, I know. But yeah, we'll, we're gonna hit the road. So we got a five hour drive to San Jose, and then from San Jose to the house, like an hour and a half, hour twenty. Yeah, cool, cool hour. Cool hour, a little bit over an hour. By, by that time, we're going to be leaving San Jose around 8 o'clock, so hopefully we got no traffic in the Bay Area, and uh, we should be good getting home. And hopefully we make it all in one tank. Once we get on the freeway, this thing should read about 450 miles. We got 320, I think, to San Jose, and then about another 60 home. I think it's like 60 or 70 home. Yeah, we have a straight shot. I mean, even if we save, uh, we can put a little bit of gas from what I save. Yeah, yeah, so we should be good. All right, well, we'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully... We can get those in the bed of the truck in a couple of hours here. And plus, we'll get the intro going with the, the computer stuff. Yeah, so we're actually gonna be we're gonna be filming a couple of cool shots with the drone. Uh, you know, for the, the next couple of videos, we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff with the drone, and uh, we're gonna be practicing too. Kind of at first, it might be a little weird because we don't really know how we're gonna throw it into videos yet. We might just throw in some clips here and there, and then eventually, once we learn, you know, how we like to use the drone. Cinematic shots. Yeah, doing stuff. cinematic shots. We'll start doing. Uh, things a little bit better it's just a learning curve so it's gonna be a little awkward you know the awkward phase and then once you get you know used to it and learn it it'll look cool all right so we got off the freeway just for a little break real quick and uh there's this little trail which i kind of want to drive on it but i don't know where the hell it goes so we're gonna fly the drone up and just kind of look around in the area yeah, that's kind of a cool thing about having a drone you can scout the area without having to drive on it and i had a hat on so my hair's a mess and here goes the drone The thing's really nice. It shoots in like 4K. It's super stable too. The the footage that we got off of it the last night, um, he showed me in it on the computer earlier, and it looks it looks really good.
<laughs> so, we're currently heading to get the rims and stuff, yeah? And uh, I had to use the restroom really badly. <laughs> and, you know, I told Juan, pull over, please, because, you know... According, according well. to the GPS, we were 100 miles away from the next bathroom. According to the GPS. But, you know, a mile down the freeway, I mean, yeah, that doesn't look like a gas station to me, huh? Yeah, could just wait an extra minute. I emotionally ripped up a shirt. Uh, if you guys can't tell, it's all ripped. Uh, <laughs> we had to do Apparently what we had to do. Apparently it makes really good uh, Arm and or what's that? Uh, Arm and Hammer. No, no, the, the uh, what's that? The, um, the one with the bears. <laughs> oh yeah, the tissue paper. The tissue, it makes some really good uh, toilet paper, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I just had some 20 ply. Hopefully this trip makes it worth it. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that wasn't a very smart one, but you know, I had to do what I had so, to do. To the uh, to the owner of the um, fields or the orchards right off of the I-5, <laughs> about 40 miles out from Centinella, <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> You're gonna find a giant uh, pile of. Uh, we're sorry for uh, for the feasants and shit that you see. And um, the uh, ripped up T-shirt. You can keep the t-shirt. <laughs> Just give it a little wash. Just give it a little wash. You have some sleeves. You have some nice little sleeves. The right two lanes to keep right. To we might we might see a road race right now. I'm trying to see if this C5 is gonna line up with that. What is it, a firebird? Yeah, firebird. Come on, let's get some roll. Let's see some let's see some action. guys so we made it back to stockton and we ended up picking up the wheels for the charger so these are uh, these things are beautiful they look kind of similar to mine but these are rahana so i think you know rahanas are a little more high-end than, than stands but very similar design a beautiful color it really got a steal on these because brand new they're like almost three grand picked them up for literally half price and the only damage they have is literally like the tiniest little, I think it's this one. No, it's one of the backs, I think. Oh no. It's, well, I can't, I can't remember which one it is, but it literally has just a little nick, like right here. Super tiny on one of the other ones. So we're gonna try to fix them. We'll probably be able to fix them ourselves, to be honest. The lights are enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they came out, they, they look super nice. They're gonna look super good on the car. And they're kind of similar to my, uh, my stand squeals, which look dope when we pull up to meets me there we go we have some light we have to look super good so i'm gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna get these unloaded get them put away and then i'm gonna go ahead and film the outro at the house um but we have a lot of content hopefully this weekend we get to go out to some meets and then well not this weekend because today's saturday tomorrow so next weekend um and we're gonna do a little bit of filming during the week as well with the drone and get some cinematic shots with uh the truck and the camaro so we decided to put one on, on the side of the charger just to mock it up and get an idea but that's gonna look so good when it's on there the color combo like i'm telling you bronze looks very good with a lot of colors a lot of people go with black and alloy because it's the most common and the most like i guess the safest route to go black and alloy i mean it doesn't look bad on any color really but bronze is really just i'm really starting to love bronze on any color almost switching over to the iphone because i just finished filming this video and i noticed i didn't film an outro but we made it back home. The truck did amazing like always. We are up to, I think, 7,500 miles on the truck already. And we bought it in January and it is currently May. So in just a couple of months, we put almost 8,000 miles on that truck. So that just shows how much I love driving it and just how good of a truck it is. Now, 
I do need to do a little bit of maintenance on it because it is starting to, it needs an oil change and it is also getting kind of close to 100,000 because I bought her with low 90, I want to say. So I want to do some preventative maintenance. I want to do a full transmission flush, differential flush, just to make sure that we can keep it running as long as that one ran. That one's at 350,000 miles and it's still going strong. But we're going to go ahead and film the outro. But before we do, I want to show you guys the seats are back inside the car. Now, unfortunately, no, they aren't the Recaros, which I would have loved. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. It wasn't time. It just wasn't meant to be. So we got the good old, good old reliable stock seats back in here. And we also did some new ambient lighting, which I want to show you guys. I didn't film a video on this, but I did install the uh, ambient lighting on the dash. So we got the light tubes on this side and on the dash. Now I do need to take it back apart and put the foam tape a little higher so the, the little light tube can be held up higher. Because right here in the middle, the light gets kind of dim. But on the corners, it's really nice and bright. I don't mind it though. It's a really nice, really nice place in here now. I love the way the ambient lighting just flows. Everything looks OEM. The only one that might stand out is the cup holders. Just because it sits above the actual uh, factory cup holder. So there's a little bit of a gap in between here. But even that looks pretty OEM. Everything's wired to the OEM harness. So I'll even show you guys. Let me just turn off the Bluetooth. All right, so I had to make sure the Bluetooth was off. That way my phone doesn't uh, connect and the audio gets all messed up. But as you can tell, we have the cup holders. We have that. And we have the door lights. All that I did aftermarket, right? But the good thing about how I wired it is that even though it's all aftermarket, it'll dim with all the factory lighting since I wired it to OEM lights. Everything's wired to the OEM harness, so it's perfect. If anyone ever wants to dim it or you know it's too bright and i'm driving out somewhere you can always turn them down which is really sweet but anyways that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the little road trip video picking up some car parts picking up my seats the charger will have those wheels on hopefully by the end of this week if all goes well so we can get some videos with the charger as well that thing is going to look awesome. And we also have a car meet coming up this weekend at our old high school, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go back to my old high school for a car meet. And uh, it's just going to be cool to have the Camaro there. Last time the car was in that parking lot, was uh, it had the uh, the black six-gen wheels on it still, not lowered, no arrow. I think I had just broken my last splitter that I had on it. So the car looks way different now. Uh, the car also wasn't cammed or anything. So it's going to be really cool to take it back to uh, my old school where I... Uh, learn to drive the car basically but anyways that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic day peace out if you guys enjoyed this video there's two more videos for you guys to watch right here and the subscribe button if you guys want to stay updated with the channel